Hello, everyone, and welcome to the third episode of Salesforce Labs Live. This online series is designed to showcase some of the newest and apptastic free employee book solutions to hit the app exchange marketplace. Now, each episode highlights a different Labs app and its respective and its respective owners. You'll hear from the experts themselves and discover how these solutions can help you solve some of your most common business challenges. It's been a while since our last episode, but I'm so excited to to return with this newest installation, which is all about using Salesforce Labs to understand your Salesforce users and licenses. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mariana Torres, and I am an evangelist for Salesforce Labs. Basically, my role is to keep you up to date on the newest Salesforce Labs apps and share them with all of you. I'm primarily responsible for promoting all of our apps and solutions to all of you through Twitter and YouTube. This episode is all about the Salesforce user license app. This app is designed to help you explore your Salesforce licenses and its associated roles. And before I begin, okay, hold up. We'll hear from my guest speaker in just a bit. But I first want to remind everyone that Salesforce is a publicly traded company and to please make all buying decisions off products and services that are currently available. So before we dive in, let me speak briefly about AppExchange. AppExchange is the world's most trusted cloud-based enterprise and offers more than 7,000 apps and experts to help you solve some of your most pressing business challenges. Now, each app is pre-built and leverages the power of the Salesforce platform, so you can get started faster with easy integration right in your Salesforce environment. Now, aside from these thousands of amazing partner, partner solutions, AppExchange also offers solutions built by Salesforce employees. These free employee-built apps, components, and flows are known as Salesforce Labs. We currently have over 500 solutions available that can help you solve problems, learn new skills, and adopt new technology. Many of them also have their source code available on GitHub, so you can customize them to meet your organization's unique needs. And now, it's my pleasure to welcome our special guest. Pranav, why don't you take a moment to introduce yourself and your new app? Yeah, thanks, Mariana. Um, hi, everyone. So let me share my screen here. Thanks, Mariana. Uh, really excited to be doing this uh, episode with you. I am a technical architect at Salesforce. Uh, what that means is that I work with our customers uh, and review their entire enterprise architecture as a whole and provide them you know, agnostic recommendations of what solution or technology would help them solve their challenges or goals that they're trying to uh, get to. So um, the app that I kind of build, the user license app, kind of came out of this uh, one of the challenges that I was seeing across a lot of our customers who were, uh, in a short way to say, to kind of put it in a slide, trying to understand like what were the licenses that that existed uh, within their Salesforce instance. Now, the licenses can get provisioned by Salesforce that they buy from Salesforce, or they could also get provisioned through a partner, like an OEM. Uh, some of the most common ones out there are like financial force or remedy force that you would heard of, you would have heard of, but um, there are many more that are out there. And these partners can also provision licenses in a, in a, in a customer Salesforce instance. And when the time comes that a customer needs to figure out like what licenses do I have? How many users do I do I need to keep? How many more do I need to buy? All of these decisions and optimizing their spend and making the getting the maximum value out of their investment in Salesforce is really important for them to understand like, you know, what is provision in their org? Uh, which licenses do they have? Who provisioned them? Uh, stuff like that. So uh, the, basically this was the challenge that I saw. And also it's not just our customers, it's also kind of our own internal teams that are trying to help our customers in 
uh, provisioning these uh, these services uh, and features. Uh, so to them, it's more getting to the point of helping the customers self-serve at the same time as helping our internal teams help our customers in the best way that they can. Um, so that was the challenge that I was seeing across a lot of the customers, as I already mentioned. Uh, they found it difficult to understand the license utilization, difficult to understand who provisioned what, how many more do they need. Some of the popular ones that we already talked about, like Remedy Force and Financial Force customers often run into this. Um, and also, uh, so that, that was the main, main, main challenge and the, the way we try to solve it is through this app that contains these custom components that help our customers uh, automatically just install this app in their org and get a visual of what is the utilization of the licenses across their entire Salesforce instance. Cool. Okay. So that was the challenge and that was, that was what we set out to solve. Uh, the, the applications underlying data model is actually the same Salesforce data model that exists today for all customers. Um, you know, there are no additional custom objects or anything that we've included. We're just simply accessing the um, the standard data model that exists for all customers. Uh, the only catch is that for customers, this part that you would see highlighted in the blue can only be accessed through, can be easily accessed through Salesforce reports and dashboards, but the part in the red can only be accessible through SOQL. And that's the those hidden tier two objects that you see over there highlighted in the red are uh, are the are the core um, uh, objects that you have to hit and under to to have an understanding of what are the licenses provisioned by these managed packages in your Salesforce instance. So it becomes very difficult for customers who are not very familiar with SQL, who don't want to spend the time to write the SQL or spend the time to understand the data model and hit those objects and do an analysis of how many how many licenses do they have versus how many do they need. Um, so to fix that, uh, what we've done is we've created a standard uh, kind of packaged reports and dashboards on objects that already are accessible through report, reports and dashboards and the ones that are not accessible through uh, standard reports and dashboards and only accessible through SQL. We've created custom uh, Lightning web components um, that can help customers easily navigate um, through through these managed packages and licenses provision and who's using them and how many users and how many active users and which profiles and which roles and stuff like that. So uh, pretty detailed and granular analysis that they can do if they install this application. And with that, these are some demo snapshots, but what's better than demo snapshots is just simply jumping in, into the demo. Um, so let me transition over to the screen. So this is the homepage of the user's user license application. It is after you install the uh, package, you would see that it just shows up like any other application inside of your Salesforce instance. You can give your admins uh, access to this application. So if they have to do this license analysis, they can simply come, come, come over here and navigate on this homepage. Um, if you had to get a sense of what this page is doing, on the right hand side, you have all the managed packages that exist within your Salesforce instance. Um, as you can see, if I click through every single managed package, you can see the name kind of uh, all the components on the left uh, dynamically change and the name change. Um, so in my example, I've installed this BMC Remedy Force managed package, and you can see that I have number of use licenses over here as two, number of provision licenses by BMC Remedy uh, Force as 10,000. That's what you get out of their uh, free trial. Um, you can also see the two licenses that have been used, who are the users, what is the full name, all the details around those users. And if I wanted to export this data into an Excel format, I can do that too by the click of a button. Um, if I go below, you can see other kind of slicing and dicing of the data, like a breakdown. So uh, license summary with respect to this OEM package, where you can see which type of licenses, how many active users, what is the count of the, of the same, uh, breakdown by profiles, how many roles, how many licenses, status, 
uh, with respect to the licenses that have been provisioned within this uh, within this managed package itself. Um, you can also search if you want to do uh, by a particular user, and it's all dynamic in that sense. Um, but at the same time, if you wanted to kind of move away from this and get a holistic view of all the packages inside of your Salesforce instance, you would navigate over to this tab on the top uh, to all packages view. And similarly, uh, you can search for the respective uh, managed package that you want, get the details around them. And all of this data that I'm showing right now is would have uh, would have been accessible only through Sockle queries. So a customer would have to download VS Code or go on Workbench or some other tool to write Sockle queries, access this data, understand the data model first, write the queries to access this data, and then analyze. So kind of uh, trying to bring that self-serve and fast time to value to the customers by already giving them access to this custom, uh, uh, this view through custom Lightning Web Components. Uh, then one of the most important ones out of this is this all license summary view where there's a license breakdown with respect to an OEM package and the ones license breakdown with, which are not associated with an OEM package. And this is important because if you take the example of a customer who's trying to, who already is a customer of, um, let's say, Remedy Force or Financial Force and is trying to kind of get rid of that package, is trying to retire one of these packages. And they want to understand how many licenses would go away if I, if I don't use them anymore. Uh, this is where they'll be able to do that breakdown and then reach back out to Salesforce and say, hey, I'm getting rid of financial force in my Salesforce instance um, uh, or some other package. How, how many more licenses do I need? Um, probably this is the number and this this basic view will be able to help them identify what that number is also help salesforce know since you're getting rid of that so that no there's no break in functionality no break in business uh, these would be the additional licenses that you would need to provision uh, from salesforce so uh, if you see the line over here at the bottom it'll be if a salesforce platform license for active users is two that is with respect to an oem and if you get rid of the oem you'll basically have to reprovision Salesforce platform like do Salesforce platform licenses and assign them to those users to avoid any break in break in that functionality. And finally to bring it all together at the end, we have our user license dashboard. These are out of the box reports and dashboards that I created uh, to help you quickly understand, you know, hit those user license objects. Uh, any any customer can build this out by themselves, but it's always nice to have pre-built dashboards and reports that you can run. Um, the breakdown that I've created is by an internal license type. So this could be any platform, sales, service, uh, you know, custom internal users that you have. That uh, that that number is 660 in my demo environment. Uh, also, number of site licenses. These are external experience cloud licenses. So that's 370 in my demo instance, charter licenses and guest user licenses. These are the four categories that I have created um, and counts and analysis that I've done. So every single category has like these three component reports that you see on this dashboard. Uh, the first one being user, user license reports pie chart uh, basically gives you a breakdown of user licenses by the specific, uh, the type of license that there is. So I have Salesforce full and a few others, uh, but just give a giving a breakdown of what that looks like. Then the usage report of how many, which user, which licenses do I have? Like Salesforce full licenses, platform licenses, the total, the active, and the remaining licenses, so that you have a sense of what your utilization rate is and keeping up with uh, keeping up with not letting it drop, drop down too much uh, because that'll be uh, iterating licenses. But also not not going not hitting the max because that means that you're running out of licenses to to provision to your users, and the breakdown by which license and which user has access to that license, um, and you every all these three components 
by these breakdowns that I have over here. So by internal user licenses, by experienced cloud license users, by guest users, um, and by uh, charter users. Um, you, you, can, you can do a pretty, pretty in-depth analysis by just these out-of-the-box custom Lightning Web components and uh, standard reports and dashboards. So with that, that's my uh, that's the user license app that I've built, uh, and I want to just thank Mariana for all the amazing stuff that she has to do on, in the back, and the effort that goes into all of this uh, running these episodes and to help me uh, just promote this app so that our customers can get more value out of Salesforce. So once again, a user license app is available for free right now on App Exchange. Check out, be sure to check out our this, our this episode description for the installation link, as well as some more resources to just connect with Salesforce Labs, connect with App Exchange, all that. Um, we do value your feedback. So if you do try out this solution, please let us know about your experience by leaving a review on the App Exchange listing. And now, if you would like to learn more about Salesforce Labs, please, please, please check out these resources on the screen. So the first one that I want to share with you all is the main landing page on App Exchange. This page, um, or rather this link, lets you explore all of our wide roster of apps, components, and flows. Basically, this first link right here is your is like pretty much your gateway to all Salesforce Labs. Um, yeah, and I mean, of course, we have over 500 solutions again. So um it also links you to our digital app guide which is something that you can leverage to uh to just kind of like find solutions for like more specific problems on it it also has like customer recommended labs apps all that fun stuff and then next is the app exchange twitter so if you want to stay up to date on our newest labs apps um please 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 give us a follow there uh we are currently under under the app exchange handle at app exchange um by following us, you'll basically stay in the loop of all the newest Salesforce Labs apps to hit the App Exchange marketplace and, of course, everything that, um, that our besties on the App Exchange are up to. Um, so, yeah, you can keep an eye out for all things Salesforce Labs related under the hashtag Salesforce Labs. Our talented community of builders such as Pranav are always bringing amazing new innovations to, to the market. So, I can't wait to see what else is brought up. And, yeah. And with that, that closes today's episode. I want to thank all of you again for joining me here today and especially to you, Pranav. Honestly, like round of applause to you. Thank you all so much. And yes, uh, be sure to check out those resources if you want to find out more about labs and all of our innovations. Thank you all so much. Bye.